Hi, it's Rich. Happy Mother's Day again. In the midst of the garden, there is the tree of life. And according to Revelation, it says the leaves are for the healing of the nations. And there's 12 fruits. Is that the tr tribes? 12 tribes? But Jesus is not the tree of life, or is he? He's the bread of life. And his life and sacrifice does everything that the tree of life said it does. In him and through him is the healing of nations. His blood cleanses us, heals us of the knowledge of good and evil. It doesn't remove it from our flesh. But if we live in the Spirit and are not led by the evil in our flesh, our curiosity is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. How come the evil comes out more than the good does? Hmm. I guess that's just the nature of that tree. But which tree do you live by? What nature comes out of you? The bread of life? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, long-suffering? Self-control? Or is it spirit-led? In the middle of... Uh, prayer session today at church, a Pentecostal movement. I had this come to me about Jesus being the bread of life and compared to the tree of life. I was like, whoa, hold on, that's like monumental. Because God sealed off the Garden of Eden so that we would not be redeemed in a fallen state and be eternally separated. It's interesting because evil, Satan's plan, led them to erect the cross to punish an innocent man who sacrificed himself to take on the sins of the world and through which heals the nations if they come to him, if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. Repent of our sins and ask Him to be our Lord and Savior. And then to live by His Spirit and not by our flesh. Don't live by your feelings and your emotions, which causes your flesh to rise up in anger and hatred. But live by His Spirit. And all the fruits of the Spirit will be a part of your life. But there's more. The bread of life not only cleanses you, but it heals. And it gives you the ability to be in a fallen world after the fall of mankind and to be complete, made what God wanted the tree of life to do in the garden. And tonight as I was pondering this and just meditating on it. You know, a Salah moment. It was this. It says that he bore our transgressions. That he, is by his stripes, we are healed. I'm not a theologian, but I'm just kind of pondering by his stripes, his body, we are healed. We individually, our physical healing, why are we focused on our flesh? Where he healed by the healing of the nations. We're restored to a right relationship with God eternally. It's done, it's completed. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. It's like the tree of life has already been consumed by us. It's like God camouflaged it. It was hidden. 
but right in plain sight. Ye who take of the body and blood of Christ, not symbolically, but genuinely, in your hearts, surrender to him, submit to his lordship and sovereignty, and do what you do out of love for him and love all mankind. Then, and only then, he will entrust you with things hidden. He will reveal to you things that your flesh gets in the way and obscures. It's kind of like when the moon circles the earth and the sun shines on it. It lights up and we can see it clearly. But if our flesh gets in the way of the light of the sun and we have an eclipse and the darkness of our flesh blocks out the sun, how many of us are living our lives allowing our flesh to block the Son of God from living through us? heaven on earth revealed to the world one heart at a time surrender to God I hope and pray for anybody watching this video that it can break through your flesh the scales in your eyes the hardness in your heart and touch the seed that God has planted inside of you if you're born again and I pray that it will break through the outer layer of that seed so what's inside can grow and spring forth and search and strive for and seek after with all your heart the light from God our Father, our Creator, our Savior, our Redeemer, and the groom for us, His Bride. Amen.